Hi, my name is Tiffany. I am a barista and owner of Holos Coffee. Why I love being a barista? Of course, it's because I love making coffee, but also it's the interaction component too with the customers. What really keeps me going on a day-to-day -day basis is me making good coffee, is carrying them through the day as like just a little treat or, you know, a little source of strength. Holos is actually a Greek word, it's supposed to be pronounced holos. It's a word that means whole or complete. Wholeness, it must begin with a work-rest rhythm. I think a lot of people describe it to be work-life balance, but I personally think work-rest rhythm is a more accurate and helpful way that we can pursue this type of rhythm in our lives. Recognizing that you know, we're made to work, but also made to rest and these two things like fuel each other. What inspired me to start Holos was actually my time in college. I went to UCLA and while I was like just studying for exams, I went around like all of LA visiting different shops. That was my first exposure to specialty coffee and the culture that they carry. I wanted to bring back that culture that I tasted and share that with the people around me in my hometown. One thing that I learned pretty early on in making good coffee is that it all comes down to evenness, even extraction. We have a specific output that we're looking for when we pull espresso, making sure that you're producing the same input every time so that you get the same outcome. That will allow no coffee to be wasted Perfectly even extraction is impossible, but with better equipment and just better attention to preparing as you make the coffee, all contributes to a good cup. Even in coffee, there's always a trade-off. You're either gonna emphasize the texture and the body of the coffee while sacrificing the full spectrum of flavors that you could achieve, or you're really gonna be chasing this like flavor, acidity, and like this clean cup but then your texture will suffer and it will become more of a watery coffee. There's always a trade-off in life and this applies to coffee, I think. Looking back, I realized that you need to have a certain level of romanticism to be able to have the courage to step into anything. And then as you face different struggles and obstacles, you just kind of have to work through it. My dream of opening a shop was just a very naive, like, Oh, I want to open a coffee shop one day. When I first opened, I didn't really have the luxury to have more workers. And so I was here like open to close for like the first four to five months. I was working as much as like 80 to 90 hours a week. I sacrificed so much time and like sleep. I felt like a bit of a hypocrite in that I was not <laughs> pursuing work rest rhythm in my own life. The biggest challenge was going through the health department. They wanted to see the plans for all of that to make sure it was updated with the health codes. I failed several inspections. Facing those problems was difficult because I didn't have a lot of money or resources or help, or I thought. Because it was my dream and I had pride in this dream, I wanted control and try to make things happen by my own means. But I realized that was not possible. I had to learn to be okay with receiving help in whatever form, whether that was reaching out to my landlord to see like how he or she could help me, or just reaching out to my friends for emotional support or my family. I was able to endure that time because I knew that it was not a permanent place to be. I believe that like direction is more important than position. Being aware of where you fall short, heading towards uh, the path that you believe to be right is more important than like where you are right now. I think if I was like working nonstop and I saw no end to it, then I couldn't have endured it. If I had unlimited resources, I would really focus more energy on informing others about the craft of coffee. That's like the first thing that I think of, of like allowing people to taste my coffee, but also sharing the knowledge of it and like how to make good coffee. I would encourage anyone who wants to open a coffee shop to do so, but I would emphasize the need for real-time experience as a barista. 
behind the bar. More than half of what you do is just cleaning and it's customer service more than like making the drinks. Not a lot of people find a lot of passion in that aspect. And it's like hard to because it's just the menial tasks, the day-to-day -day tasks. If you can see yourself being content and still enjoying the day-to-day -day tasks, understanding all the risks that come to it, and like whether you're willing to sacrifice everything to make this happen, pursue the dream. I think it's so worth it. I've had actually like many encounters from customers who kind of share how much this place means to them. One encounter I remember, they told me that they feel like Holos was the missing piece in this neighborhood. She's an attorney and like her husband's an attorney and she has two young kids and her life is so chaotic. But she said when she steps in here, she feels very relaxed and motivated. She was like thanking me for opening this shop because it's just a place that she looks forward to going to on a weekly basis. And it's like her moment of peace. I was surprised but also grateful for her saying that to me because that's like kind of exactly what I wanted to accomplish with this shop. For me, I definitely can feel like I have succeeded more in this work rest rhythm compared to when I first started. Hopefully my customers will begin to see the value in working hard but also like resting well and how much that like benefits health in a holistic sense. Thank you for always visiting Holos. I'm so honored that, you know, our shop is a part of your daily rhythm and I hope to continue to like serve consistent, quality, tasty drinks so that you can pursue this work rest rhythm in your own lives. One thing I do actually kind of want to share is I think it's not healthy to put all of your hopes into a particular dream um, or position because I thought once I open my own coffee shop, then my life will be complete. But to be honest, like in a day-to-day -day sense, in a practical sense, like it's not any easier for me to be happier today than it was before all of this happened. Yeah, if my, you know, if this will happen, then I will be happy. Like. It's just not real, <laughs> it's not true. Just finding contentment in my everyday is like one of the things that I've really realized is so important. Like my life is not so much better because I have my own coffee shop. <laughs> that is all.